Hi, I'm Judith. I'm going to be guiding you through your yoga session, but it's important to mention some practical issues to assure a safe and fulfilling yoga experience. Do your workout in a well-ventilated, peaceful space with a comfortable temperature. Dress in non-restrictive clothing that stretches and moves with the body. Have all of your props within reach to facilitate a focused practice. Gather your mat, blankets, chair, brick, strap, pillows, etc. Remember, stay within the body's limits and never ever feel pain. If you move slowly and with complete awareness, you shouldn't ever get injured. As you observe the movements, be mindful of the joints. Challenging oneself is okay as long as you do not overstretch or feel pain. Poses can be done in a chair or on the floor. When entering a yoga pose or posture, we move slowly into our greatest point of stretch. We hold the position for 15 to 60 seconds, depending on your ability, allowing the tight muscles to relax and lengthen. One should remain mindful of the breath, keeping it steady and rhythmic. We never hold the breath. Control of the breath enables us to hold the pose longer and keeps us focused in the present moment. If the breath becomes labored, it's a sign to come out of the pose. Please remember that in yoga it is the process that's important, not the end result. The goal is not to twist the body into difficult positions. It is to attain a focused, peaceful state of mind, using the body as a tool to this end. A welcome byproduct is a healthier, more flexible, and stronger body. To be balanced, the process is an equal blend of body movement, breathing techniques, and meditation. This is an ongoing lifestyle change that will produce results with time and regular practice. Be patient and disciplined, and you will get those results. Most important, relax and enjoy. Okay, let's start with the neck stretches. Make sure that you're sitting nice and straight. The shoulders are relaxed. The chin is level to start. Just take a deep breath through the nose and exhale it and feel the whole body relaxing. And now slowly move the chin toward the chest, stretching the back of the neck. And just hold for a few breaths. Feel the muscles lengthening. And then bring the head up as you inhale. On the next exhale, slowly turn your chin toward the left shoulder, keeping the chin level. Again, take a few breaths. Feel the stretch. Exhaling again, slowly move the chin around to the right shoulder. When you get to the greatest point of stretch, just hold. Focus on your breath. Noticing the inhale and the exhale. And then exhale back to the center. And now as you exhale, move your left ear toward the left shoulder. Trying not to move the shoulders and feel the side of the neck getting a wonderful stretch. Inhale the head up slowly and then exhale to the other side. Inhaling, bring the head back up to the center and just observe the effects of the stretching that you just did. Let's repeat that sequence. Make sure the spine is straight. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. As you exhale, let the chin move toward the chest and feel the stretch in the back of the neck. And then inhaling, bring the head up. And on the next exhale, turn the head to the left shoulder. Exhaling, come around to the right shoulder. All the way to the right shoulder and then back to the center. Take another inhale, and as you exhale, tilt the head to the left, moving ear toward shoulder. 
Inhale the head up and exhale to the other side. And then inhaling up to the center again. Let's sit in the middle of the chair now so that we have some room behind us to move and we'll do some shoulder rolls. Let's do four rolls in one direction, big slow circles. Observing the breath as you move. And then just relax for a breath. And then reverse the direction and go the other way four times. And then relax, take a cleansing breath. And now let's do some arm circles. Placing the hands lightly on the shoulders, focus on the elbows and begin to move them in circles as big as you are able. Always listening to your body. Go four times one way. And then relax for a breath. And reverse and go four times slowly in the other direction. And then release the arms and relax. Take a relaxing breath. And now we're going to do the shoulder arm stretch. Reach the arms out to the side and inhale up as you reach toward the ceiling, stretching upward with straight fingers. Take a few breaths and then exhale, let the arms float down. Again, focusing on the breath as you relax. This time when you inhale up, let's hook the thumbs. And you'll find you can reach up a little higher now. Always working in your own limits. And then exhale the arms down. And this time take a relaxing breath. Once you get the arms down, just release everything. There's never any rush in yoga. This time when you inhale up, we're going to interlace fingers if you're able to and reverse the palms to face the ceiling and stretch up. Remembering to breathe a rhythmic breath. And then exhale the arms down. Take a relaxing breath. Let's repeat that one. Inhaling up again, interlace fingers. See if your inhale and exhale can be of equal length as you breathe. And on the next exhale, release the arms. Let them come back to your side. And take a relaxing breath. Let's do the side to side stretch, sitting in the middle of the chair, feet firmly on the floor for stability. Place your left hand on the edge of the chair and then lift your right arm up and over as you tilt to the side, keeping both sit bones firmly on the chair. And now take a few breaths as you feel the stretch. And then bring the arm down. Place the right hand on the edge of the chair and repeat on the other side. You could even push the left hip toward the chair to feel an extra stretch. And then bring that arm down, take a relaxing breath. And let's repeat, placing the left hand on the edge of the chair, stretch to the side. If this hurts your shoulder to lift your arm, simply place your hand on the hip. You'll still get a stretch on the side without lifting the arm. And then try the other side again. And release, come back to the center and relax.
Now we're going to do the seated forward bend number one. Inhale as you reach your arms up, stretch forward. Now we're going to hold this for a moment, focusing on the breath as you let your spine stretch. Observe the breath and try to keep the inhale and the exhale of equal length, breathing through the nose. And as you exhale, you may feel that the spine can elongate even more. And now on an inhale, come back up, reach upward, and let the arms reach out gracefully down to the side. And relax. For forward bend number two, we've changed the chair so that you can go a little lower this time. Inhale, reach up again. Bend forward as you exhale. And now as your hands lay on the chair, you can stretch forward, lengthening the spine, and again, focusing on the breath. Controlling the breath. Keeping it rhythmic and smooth. On the next exhale, feel as if your fingertips are moving forward just a little more even if they don't actually move. And now on an inhale, reach up slowly. Exhale as the arms come down. And just feel the effects of the movement that you just did. And now let's do seated forward bend number three. Inhaling, reach upward. And as you exhale, bend forward, bringing the hands to the floor to support you. Let the neck relax, let the back stretch out. Focus on your breaths. On the next inhale, come up with a deep breath reaching upward toward the ceiling again. Let the arms float down. And once again, relaxing and noticing the effects of the pose. Let's do the seated hand to floor twist. Bringing the right hand to the floor, let the left arm reach upward. If your hand does not comfortably come to the floor, be sure to use a block. Notice your breath. Observe the inhale and exhale as you feel the stretch. And now like a windmill, we're going to reverse and go to the other side, bringing the left hand down and the right arm up. And now inhaling back up to a seated position, taking a relaxing breath. And now let's repeat it, bringing the right hand down, the left arm up. Notice where you feel the twist. Always staying within your own limits. Let's go to the other side. Never feeling any pain. And then inhale up once again and relax. And now let's do the back extension and flexion. This can be done sitting in a chair or kneeling on the floor. As you exhale, begin to round the spine, tucking the chin toward the throat. As you inhale, come forward, pushing the chest forward. Exhale, round the spine again, tucking the chin again. We're moving with the breath. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, again, rounding the spine. Noticing how it feels. And inhale, come forward again.
and relax. Next is the seated spinal twist. Sitting sideways in a chair with the feet on the floor, spine nice and straight, turn toward the left, letting your hands hold on to the back of the chair, and using your arms for the leverage to increase the twist as much as you are able. Again, focusing on the breath, inhale and exhale of even length. Slowly release and observe the effects of the twist, taking a relaxing breath in between. And now repeat that movement, twisting again to the left, remembering to breathe, and release slowly. And now let's turn the body around on the chair to do the other side. Straightening the back again, twisting this time to the right, feeling the effects on this side of the body. Going only as far as your body allows comfortably. Exhale as you untwist slowly. Take a relaxing breath in between again and twist to the right. and slowly release and observe the effects of that pose. This is the chest expander. Interlacing the fingers behind the back. Straighten the elbows as much as you are able and start to lift the arms any degree your body allows. Feel the stretch across the chest. Feel the squeeze in the shoulder blades. Control and observe the breath. And release, take a relaxing breath. Let the shoulders relax. And now let's repeat that. Interlacing fingers again. Notice where you feel the most stretch in this pose and release and relax. And now we'll do the opening hand circles. Bringing the hands together in front of the heart. Begin to move the hands in a circle slowly around the face making the circles as big as you are comfortable. Let's go three times in one direction. Thinking about the breath, keeping the breath smooth. One more time. And then stop at the heart, reverse direction, and go three times the other way. Noticing how it feels in the arms and shoulders. And then stopping at the heart again, taking a relaxing breath and releasing. This is an abdominal strengthener that's a variation of the boat pose. Lying on the floor with your legs on a chair. Make sure you have all the padding that you need for comfort. Now reaching the arms toward the knees, bring up the head and maybe the shoulders, work the abdominals, moving the navel toward the spine, continue to breathe, never holding the breath, and then lower the body and rest. And let's repeat that. Lifting the head and shoulders, working the abdominals, continuing to breathe, and release. Let's do one more time, lifting the head and shoulders, 
and release and relax completely. And now the knee to chest pose. This can be done sitting in a chair or lying on the floor. Let's bring the right leg up toward the chest, taking a hold below the knee. Draw that leg toward you as much as you are able and feel the stretch. Relax the face, focus on the breath. And slowly release, bringing that leg down. And now let's try the other side. Bring the other leg up. Holding on, draw it toward you as much as you're able. And then bring that leg down. Take a relaxing breath. And let's repeat this one. Bring up the right leg again. If it's easier for you, you could hold on behind the knee and draw the leg toward you. And release and try the other side again. Observing the breath the entire time. And release. Remember if the breath becomes labored or uncomfortable, it's time to release the pose. Now we're going to do a relaxation with the legs up on the back of a chair, or you could even place the legs against a wall if that's more comfortable. Try to release every muscle in your body. The back is supported on the floor. Bring all the attention to the breath. Noticing the inhale and exhale. Letting them be of equal length. Or since you're relaxed, you might even be able to make the exhale a little longer than the inhale. Each time you exhale, feel every muscle in the body releasing. And just observe the effects of this deep relaxation. If you're comfortable in this position, you can hold it for longer. Listening to your own body and knowing when it's time to come out of the pose. And now get in position for the final relaxation. You can sit up in a chair with your back comfortably supported, or you can lie on the floor, relaxing the body completely. Feel as if every muscle in the body is letting go and just melting. Bring the attention to the breath. As you inhale, feel the lower ribs begin to expand gently. And then expand in the middle ribs, and then all the way to the top of the chest as you continue the inhale. As you exhale, let the chest sink and the air flow out gently. Breathing through the nose. The breath is done slowly. and continue to breathe this way for a moment. Each time you exhale, feeling the body sink into a deeper relaxation. The mind remains completely focused on the breath and all other busy thoughts disappear.
And now return to your normal breathing. And continue to enjoy the relaxation for as long as you want. Allow the eyes to open, getting used to the light gently, and start to stretch and move the body gently. Coming back to full awareness. And now we're going to continue with a brief guided relaxation. Just sit comfortably in a chair be well supported or you can lie on the floor or in your bed make sure that your body is relaxed let go of every muscle in the body and now bring your attention to your breath begin to notice how you breathe and now begin to control the breath as you inhale Feel the area between the navel and the lower ribs begin to expand. And as you exhale, let that area sink. Again, inhale, let that area expand. As you exhale, let it contract. Let the breaths be very slow and relaxed. On the next time that you inhale, let that area in the navel expand again, but then continue to draw the air up through the chest all the way to the top. As you exhale, reverse the process and let each section sink again. Imagine that you're blowing up a balloon inside of your belly and chest each time you inhale. And each time you exhale, you're just letting the air flow out of the balloon. It should be a very full breath, but never to the point of straining. Continue this process called the complete yogic breath or the three-part breath. Inhale, feel the expansion move from the navel upward and exhale and let everything sink. As you feel the breath become more rhythmic, begin to focus more on the exhale. See if you can lengthen the exhale, making it slightly longer than the inhale. Sometimes it's helpful to count Inhale to a count of four, but exhale to a count of six or even eight. If your mind starts to wander from the breath, just bring it back and continue with this deep breathing for another moment or so. And now take one more deep, full breath. Finish the long, slow exhale. And then resume your normal breathing. You won't even have to think about it. Instead, move all of your attention to your feet. Feel the feet beginning to relax even more. And then feel this relaxation move into the legs as well. 
Soon the feet and the legs are more relaxed than they've ever been. And now notice if you're holding on to any tension in the pelvic area. Soften the abdomen, soften the buttocks, and let that area become soft and relaxed. Notice the lower back, release any tension there. The relaxation moves up the spine into the mid-back. Up into the shoulder blades. The back of the shoulders. The back of the neck. And even the head begins to relax. Notice the rib cage. Release any tension there. Just imagine that all of the organs inside of the chest are getting softer. Release any tension in the shoulders. And then move through the arms into the hands and fingertips until every part of the body from the neck down is as relaxed as it can be. And now bring awareness to the face. Feel a release in the jaw, a softening in the lips. Allow the cheeks and the temples to relax. All of the area around the eyes, between the eyebrows, and the forehead feels smoother. And now the whole body is as relaxed as it can be. Just scan the body from head to toe and release everything a fraction of an inch more. And now forget about the body. We're going to do a brief visualization using healing imagery. Begin to imagine that the room is filled with a beautiful golden light. And this is a special light. It's a healing light and it's filled with positive energy. As you inhale a normal breath, imagine that you're breathing in the golden light. With each inhale you take, you breathe in more of the light until it begins to fill up your body and your mind. You can send this healing light to any part of the body or mind that may need extra healing. It begins to fill your muscles with strength and vitality. It fills the body with energy. 
It brings peace and tranquility to the mind. fade away, begin to bring your awareness back to your body, notice how you feel, notice how you feel mentally, begin to breathe a little more deeply, Gently start to stretch the body in any way that feels good to you. And take your time to bring yourself back to full awareness. Enjoy the peaceful feeling and take it with you throughout your day. Patients with post-polio syndrome have been found to benefit from non-fatiguing exercises and stress reduction. With this video, we are offering a series of non-fatiguing exercises known as Hatha Yoga combined with meditation and stress reduction, all linked with attention to the breath. Both meditation and Hatha Yoga can be useful in the creation of a relaxed and focused state of mind. The traditions of Hatha Yoga and meditations are thousands of years old and are mentioned in ancient texts from both India and China. Hatha Yoga is a series of postures that have become so popular in this country. They were initially developed in part to help to prepare the body for meditation and also as an integral part of the practice of medicine. These postures have also been used to help people with illnesses or disease to begin a process of healing. Meditation, a practice of focused awareness, has been taught to many patients and medical practitioners in this country as a stress reduction tool developed by John Kabat-Zinn, a physician living in Massachusetts. What is less well known about Hatha Yoga and meditation is the importance associated with attention to the breath as a tool for creating a relaxed and focused state of mind. The postures of Hatha Yoga increase strength and promote flexibility, bringing steadiness and equilibrium to the body. These postures have continued to evolve over the centuries and are a useful series of exercise that help restore balance, reduce fatigue, and soothe the nerves. There are many styles of Hatha Yoga, but today probably the largest traditions trace their lineage through three primary teachers, TKV Desikachar, BKS Iyengar and Batabi Joyce, back through their teacher, Krishnamacharya. Krishnamacharya was very interested in healing through yoga and emphasized that the practice of yoga must be adapted to the individual. This interest in the healing powers of Hatha Yoga has been passed on through his students to generations of yoga teachers and practitioners today, to their students, and to patients in general throughout the world. One of the key factors in both meditation and hatha yoga is the way these disciplines can train and discipline the mind through focus awareness and attention to the breath. In the field of yoga, there is a complete science to the art of breathing which is known as pranayama. And to many teachers, this is of key importance in healthy living. Careful attention to these postures and attention to the breath and one state of mind 
can reduce stress and begin the process of restoring health. Our goal in this video is to introduce Hatha Yoga, breath awareness, and stress reduction to people with post-polio syndrome in order to increase their energy, reduce fatigue, and create an increased sense of well-being. These exercises and postures can be modified according to one's abilities and limitations and can be utilized and integrated with most other medical treatment plans that a patient may be following. It is important to find a teacher that you can work with in the process of studying these postures and in following this video. The benefits will be much greater and enhanced if it is possible to attend a regular yoga class and have feedback from a teacher and a more experienced practitioner who is familiar with this video. Home practice using this video when a teacher is not available or in between classes will also be of use. The greatest benefits from following this program will be gained by those who are able to practice these exercises at least once a day rather than once a week at a class. And of course, more frequent practice will always bring greater benefits. There are medical studies which have demonstrated the benefits of yoga, ranging from its ability to help patients suffering from a variety of illnesses such as cardiac disease, carpal tunnel syndrome, low back pain, and osteoarthritis. Based on our experience, we believe that this program will help people who have post-polio syndrome to reduce fatigue and increase strength and flexibility. We hope you enjoy this video.